Welcome to your next tutorial and in this tutorial I said I was going to teach interfaces I think I might teach enumerations because enumerations are really important too so for now we won't be messing around with people we'll just leave that there for now what an enumeration is is it allows it's a certain type like how people is a type of object string is a type of object integer is a type of object and enumeration creates your own type of object such as making your own class but an enumer enumeration creates different um, type or different um, types of that type I don't know if that makes sense but um, let me just show you what enumeration is um, how you make an enumeration and I will show you why they're important all you have to do is you have to make a um, enum name it um, let's name ours food okay and it's going to be structured like a class in which you have these curly braces. In fact, actually, you know what uh, enum could also be used for? If you go to default package or if you've done file new enum, this might be better. Let's name this food. I like to name my enumerations um, capitalized. Just um, It just helps know that you're making an enumeration and not something else. So I have your enumeration and so what I said is you made your own type and that type is food well now you can list all the different types of food um, pizza um, spaghetti um, mozzarella I'm saying basically anything that has cheese on it um, dirt or whoever might dig that ha huh. okay um and lasagna, right? And now they made an enumeration. What is an enumeration good for? Well, an enumeration is good for like if you say um, if you made a food object, and let's just name it food. Just like a class. Remember how we made um, people equals new people, or what? However, um, people. John equals new people. Remember that? Um, what you can do is with enumerations, you could set it to food equals lasagna, right? Or um, you have to do f food dot lasagna. And it might be a little confusing, but enumerations are good for if you want to say, okay, so we have. Um, Maybe if something else, if you had like days of the week, so like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you could check if food equals um, Monday or if day equals Monday, do this. For now, um, I'll show you with this food example. Let's do public static, static, static void, the hawks fave food. Okay? and um, pass in a food object because remember we're naming a type <coughs> oh god just like people are people you can pass in enumerations too so let's say if food equals food dot dirt or yeah you gotta do this if food equals food dot dirt system dot out dot print line um, let's think about it, um, we'll, we'll just say, um, I love that, or something, and then we can also do, um, Z Hawks, fave food, and you can pass in, well, we can pass in a few things, we can pass in food, and we'll check it, okay, food.dirt, um, Okay, whatever. That didn't happen because lasagna is not equal dirt. If you also do something like else if food equals dot lasagna, I could say system dot out dot print line gross only Italians eat that stuff. Okay, and so then if you run it, 
gross, only Italians eat that stuff. Because we're passing in this food object, and it's saying, okay, food equals lasagna. And since I don't like food, or since I don't like lasagna, I'll say, gross, only Italians eat that stuff. Something else you can do, and this isn't really that, like, whoa, but what we can do is, instead of making an object every time, we could just pass in food doctor. And you might be thinking, okay, so we didn't make an object, just passed in a type of food. And then it's like, oh, I love that, because dirt. Enumerations are really handy. This is not a point where enumerations would be that handy. Well, it might be. Basically, it's like different types of this one type. If that makes sense. What I'm saying is like pizza is a type of food, which is a type. You know, spaghetti is a type of food, which is a type. And help clarify, people is also a type. Integer is a type. String is a type. So you could test, okay, is this food equal pizza? Does spaghetti, uh, is food equal spaghetti? And if so, do this stuff. And enumerations are so much handier than that. Like, there, right now is pretty a bad example, but um, if we work with enumerations later on, like um, with my Larry tutorials, you know, if block equals dirt, um, do this. If block equals, you know, there, there's so instead of saying if um, I don't know if you were to do food, make a class here, do um, I and mean, yeah, I won't go there. Anyways, um, I hope you understand what enumerations are. They're really easy once you get to know them. They're a pretty handy tool. Um, you, I'm guessing that if you wanted a job, you would have to know what they are, and they're kind of the same thing in C++ too. I'll be going over that in C++ also because um, you don't have to do anything different and it's actually the same type of thing. Anyways, next tutorial, I promise I'll do interfaces. Until then, see you later.